So something to keep in mind with the Easy Cool is that it is not reflectix. It's different in that it has a, a little foam core, not air. Yes, of course, there's air in the foam, but uh, it does have, um, you know, that, that foam core in it. Here's a trick I've been using for a long time. Um, you may have learned it in school. Rubbings that you do even at graveyards or you know, cemeteries, that sort of thing. Um, I only have to rub half of this because it is symmetrical. But I saw people online were complaining that when they covered um, the rib up, they didn't know where the holes and things were located. Uh, I need to be up on the step ladder. It cuts like butter. Yeah. Slice right through it. Nick is giving the straight edge knife method a test. So which do you think is going to be more efficient? I think this is fine, because you don't have to draw a, a line. Okay. Takes a step out of it. Two down. Out of the five. Okay, we've adhered those five pieces. It's been three days since we have worked on the, uh, the van. And hear those boomers? <laughs> right after we started working, <laughs> it started booming. So uh, I set up my little work stand with the easy cool coming off the van, pulling it down here, working on the table, um, but then we had to move it inside. So I was taking, gosh, we only have a couple of hours, but a um, little bit of time to work on the easy cool. And I forgot to film when we first did this. So what I'm doing is all the metal areas that can become thermal bridges. That means bringing any of the hot or cold air from the outside to the inside via metal. Uh, we are covering up all those areas with the Easy Cool using 3M90 spray. Let me show you that. Oh yeah, it's booming. Okay, Nick's going to hold it into place while we mark uh, the ribs. We're going to slide it up higher, but first those ribs have to be marked and cut, and then we'll dry fit it again. It is only around 5 in the afternoon in the summer, but it's so dark outside because of the rain. It is pouring down still. Um, we did this part. This is all one piece. And we just came back, cut the holes out, little holes, just have some access to that uh, insulation underneath. Or some ventilation for it. Sorry for how dark it is. I swear it was bright sunshine when we started. Uh, Nick, show them how we've cut that. Kind of just show it to them. Okay, so we dry fit it up there. We cut, show them the little, the little slit. So see that little slit? That's going to go around the, um, the, the pieces that we already have. 
up on the ceiling on the ribs. So let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. Okay, see that piece right there? It's gonna go around that piece. Okay, we're getting better as we do this. Okay, go ahead and dry fit it up there and see if you can kind of snap it into place now. And then we'll start gluing underneath it. up and for every clip I'm just cutting around I could unclip them all but this is okay also on the mark that So on pieces like this, that's really big, you can fold them and then just go behind the wire. You may not have wire like this. We bought this uh, with a, it was an RV package. So on these smaller ones, oh, there's a little clip. I wonder if I can... Does that come out and just, could it clip right through it? If I pull that out, do you think it'd snap through it again? What do you think? I don't know if I can. You know what, I'll just um, cut up to it. Are all of them like that? No. So 
Okay. You know what? This should go behind. I think I should do this behind that wire, that little wire. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'll expose it. All of this will be hidden by cabinets but we like it that we can just uh, open up the cabinet or remove the cabinet. We hope to make things really accessible. And so we'll glue, wrap, and trim. See right here? I want to leave a, like a, a half inch of metal exposed just to put magnets on it. If I want to put a magnet in the window, uh, like Reflectix or something like that. And you could do that the whole way if you wanted to just follow the ridge in there. easier after the curve. Just clip on the other side and join them. You need to cut some darts so it will wrap around the corner. So then it'll go in. Um, and then what I'll do is put another piece that runs around it this way. But in order to make that lay in there nicely, uh, you've got to uh, cut those little darts in it. I didn't know that my fashion design background would come in handy for van building. Okay. Okay, so that will um, get pushed up in there. I'll just put those ends off. Okay, then that's ready to glue into place.
this is the first piece that we put up and frankly now that we've gotten better at it I just feel like we did it wrong uh, I like it when the piece curves all the way under I think it helps it stick better all the way down uh, two feet is a real good length uh, vertically We've cut the larger piece and now we're uh, cutting the, the holes to work it through. So this piece, if you're talking about just the front section of a 15, I don't know, it may, may work for other um, passenger vans too, but this is the 15 seater. Uh, it was 64 inches by 24, which is half of the 48 inch roll of uh, easy pool. Don't get it above if you can help it. I think you're going to have to peel that down, back down further and really get it in that, that curve. Peel it back further, further in that curve right there. And here's the uh, smoother. Now we're over the side door and we finished off the insulation. Now we're fitting the easy cool to it. We've just kind of smushed it up there and followed the curve and I drew along the curve. Then we trimmed it and now I'm doing the area that's along the door. on yourself just to do some vertical slits. I 
And while we have this up here, go ahead on that edge. I'd like to show you how to fit just a big piece of this uh, when it's not square. Okay, so you're going to run it along the floor. You need something to draw with. Okay, so you're going to run it on the floor, and then we need a, a one end that's squared. So I'm going to bring it to the shortest area and push it into the corner. Okay, and you've got it, yeah, on the floor. I'm going to push it into the corner and mark it. as I go down and then cut away the excess and then we'll be starting from one square edge as we start fitting it through here and I'll show you how to kind of cut and fit and now, it's not that I have a lot of experience doing this in an RV, but when I was in college, I was a, a dual major. Um, I was learning how to be an art director and also a fashion designer. And in fashion design, had draping classes and draping classes were so helpful in pattern making and my favorite way to do pattern making because you're working with a form and turning what you're doing into a 3d sculpture because that's basically what clothing is 3d sculpture and, um, and it did teach you a lot of ways to work around a form and to fit a form. So even though I don't have a lot of experience doing, okay, I have zero experience <laughs> uh, doing the interior of an RV, I do have experience fitting fabric, basically what this is, thick fabric, to an existing form. Okay, so I have this one corner square and I'm going to work out from there. Okay, uh, Nick, if we can trade places. So the next thing I'm going to cut, and now this is a piece of Easy Cool that I've cut 102 inches. Uh, this is for a 15 passenger van. Uh, Nick is keeping this held in place nice and square. I can either draw around this wheel well or just push it and uh, cut as I go. 
it, when I do it this way, it releases so I can continue to make it flat. Okay, so I've released that edge. Now I can flatten that out. I couldn't do that earlier without making that cut. Okay, so I'm just pushing it into the seam. Okay, so now I need another cut over on this side for it to continue to lay flat. Okay, so we're all the way over to this side. Okay, now I'm gonna cut toward the corner. Okay, so then see that allows that to be wrapped. a rough cut before I do the perfect. Now since we have wire, see this wire here, it's black so you probably can't see it, uh, there's a wire running all the way and these are clips. I want to leave access for that. So what I'm going to do, and of course we want to also leave ventilation where this can breathe back in here. So what I'm going to do is cut um along each each one of these i'm going to cut an area and then leave a little space open where this whole flap can be picked up but i'll leave a little bit cut open uh just for easy access to that wire so you don't have to go searching around for it something and have access to that, all they have to do is lift up the flap.
fill that up. Try not to get it on the black insulation. Okay, can you go ahead and spray that? Oh, I've got to cover it in like a second.
Here's what we finished up yesterday. Uh, the upper part we had done. Uh, actually, it's not totally done. I want to cover up these areas. I'll put another coat of Easy Cool in there to make that all pretty. Uh, that little piece is missing. Uh, but over here, this is what will end up making that look like, really clean it up and make it pretty. So, a few things to do, but uh, down here, we'll see how this works out. You know, I've left gaps for the electrical. I don't know if you can see that, but that is um, a black wrapped electrical cord in there. And I just wanted to make sure that um, any of our electrical was really easy to find. Uh, we're doing the same thing over on the other side. We'll make sure that our electrical is easy to find. I'm going to show you with this little piece here how I'm going to clean that up and make it all pretty. And I've just cut a scrap piece um, straight on the bottom. I'll push it in to join, to butt up against uh, this piece here. And then I'm going to curve it. That goes in right there. So I'm kind of just pressing it all into this area and I'll trim that out. I should probably uh, just draw it with the crayon and then uh, follow my, my line. That's going to be a little bit off I think if I do this. So basically, you know, here's a weird shape. Um, but you don't know what that shape's going to be until you push it into all these different angles and just let the material do its thing. Okay. So, we'll be ready to to glue this and then I might make some little trim. I think I'll trim this right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you how to go around the curve with tape. Now you're just going to pull it in to make little, little darts right here. I'm just trying to keep that little half inch of metal clean. Of course, I can clean it later if I need to, but um, I just don't want to get all that adhesive all over it. That's going to be my little edge that we can uh, stick magnets to uh, when we want to put our uh, Reflectix in the window. Okay, so now... We're going to pray with mask. I'm still going to protect the glass.
again you can clean up the mask uh, I mean the glass or the metal later but I think it's easier just to protect it in the first place I didn't quite move it over as much as I wanted to, but this will work. Ta-da! We're using scrap to do this large column. And we've adhered it to the center line we taped that off and um, just glued this portion and now I'm going to fit it into that corner and the bottom corner so you'll feel when you start to wrap something if it just won't let you you know smash it into the corner you know that's where you need to make a cut you know until it releases and lets you do it I could go a little snip further okay now I can go here okay that's still kind of hard to get into push into that corner so I'm going to cut it again that. That. Now, I think that's pretty much all the snips I need to make so see up here I'll I'll push I'm trying to get keep that from moving push and uh, now I take it back it's still see it wants to pull away here which means I need to release it down here okay so now that I've done that I can easily keep this lined up and still wrap that around the corner okay So then, I'll make marks. Where's the blue? Oh, there it is. So then, after pressing it in, we've already taped off that half inch that I'm leaving exposed. And I'll go all the way down to here, where it curves. into where it straightens up and then I'm just going to get a straight edge and connect those two those. so I trimmed off that part to lay in here you know none of this stuff's perfect we're kind of just winging it I clipped off this little part now again I bring that over to the center and then bring it in now this part I'm just going to 
lay it in there. And grab my crayon. It's actually like an oil pastel. I can feel that ridge, I think. <laughs> Okay. Let me see one more. Okay, now down here. I'm just going to clip. Don't need that to come all the way out there. Here, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, there. And then that'll get glued up into there and pressed into place. We do have a dart exposed that we might want to cover up after we get all this put in place. It looks like that needs to be clipped. A little bit more to piece together. I'm getting ready to do the wheel wells, which I was hoping to do in one piece, but we're down to the final pieces and it looks like we are just going to have enough we'll probably have to put scraps together for the the back doors um and i'll have to do the wheel wells in two different pieces but overall i mean i think we got the right amount i'll i'll post about um for a 15 seat passenger van. Uh, if this was a cargo van, you would definitely need more. But uh, yeah, I think it's working out.